The decade of gas was initiated by the Buhari administration with the aim of ramping up the use of gas in Nigeria within 10 years, from 2020 to 2030. The policy is expected to deliver 10 projects with a target of attracting $14 billion in foreign direct investment, raise $12 billion in revenue through royalties and taxes, and create 2 million jobs by 2030. While the launch of the Decade of Gas Secretariat in Abuja will take Nigeria closer to achieving this target. In the next 10 years or so, Nigeria will be more of a gas-based country for local consumption as well as for export. So it's just a matter of empowering Nigerians in the utilization of gas. Investment, climate issues, policy direction, a lot of those things are important and the, and the president is very committed to, to supporting the secretariat and all the different partners in the private sector in working towards this and making sure that we deliver key projects starting immediately. The secretariat plans to give priority to the provision of uninterrupted supply of gas to the market as well as payment of arrears being owed. We see 10 to 16 projects from the industry that we can sit together and bring to the surface about 3.1 BCF of gas in the short term. In addition, there's an additional 2 BCF that if we have the right policy framework, we can move the start date for those projects from 2030 into the 2010 to 2030 window. Ensuring that all the legacy debts owed by, you know, by the industry operators uh, owed to the industry operators are paid. And also ensuring that we have a cost reflective gas pricing. In that way, the investors' confidence will be re-established. At the launch of the Secretariat, the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority also announced that a new gas pricing template will be made public soon after it is revealed with the advisor to the President, Bola Tinubu, on energy. So until such inter uh, interaction and, uh, uh, is, is completed and President Saxon uh, approves it, we will not be able to disclose the price. But basically what it is is the price that gas is sold to the industry. Gas to power, gas to base industry, as well as gas to commercial. So that is to incentivize the, the producers so that they can produce more gas and supply into the country rather than committed to exports. Virtual pipelines will involve us enabling CNG operators, people who can move gas from where it currently is today, truck it to where areas where it is needed. The Decade of Gas initiative is pegged on the premise that gas can be used as a key driver of economic growth and development, especially Nigeria's industrialization process. Georgina Ndukwezaika, Arise News.